Well, Guan Massif, I'm F Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. In this video, I'll be sharing this secret hair growth oil, or I shouldn't really say it's a secret, but rather not many persons know about it. So I will be using two main ingredients. These are the annatto seeds. I'm just picking them out and removing the seeds from the pods. And I will be using pimento berries or pimento seeds. As the base carrier oil, I'm using 100% organic olive oil. So these are what the annatto seeds look like. They are red and these um, just gives a natural color. So now I am going to be crushing the pimento berries so that when I add these to the oils, it's gonna just release all the properties. I'm using the direct heat method and you can go ahead and use the infused method if you want but this is the method that works best for me so I add the annatto seeds and the pimento berries to the hot oil and I just stir these around now annatto is one of the richest sources of organic vitamin E it is noted specifically for a vitamin E compound called tocotrienol and because of this anatta is excellent in repairing damaged skin and scarred tissue. Tocotrienol is becoming increasingly popular in treating androgenic alopecia and even promoting or stimulating fast hair growth because it is now being classified as a top tier food and anatta is one of the only organically grown substance known to contain 100% tocotrienol when compared to other natural foods. As a matter of fact, tocotrienols are far superior to tocopherols. So anatta is good for scalp inflammation. When combined with pimento, it can reduce the presence and effects of inflammatory bumps on the scalp, mainly experienced by persons with androgenic alopecia. These two seeds also work harmoniously to improve circulation on the, on the scalp and therefore strengthens the follicles and cause rapid hair growth. Now I know that oils are not supposed to moisturize and I'm uncertain whether the natural dye has anything to do with this, but guys, this hair oil leaves my hair unexpectedly soft so of course as with everything there are cons my only two drawbacks about this oil is that after you're finished using it you will smell like well seasoned fried chicken if you use the direct heat method and the natural color in the dye tends to stain even though it's not permanent so i hope you found this information useful and i encourage you to do your own research thank you for watching see you in the next video